This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. They're starting to turn on Donald Trump. I have in my hand here just a, a few paragraphs from a Daily Beast article. Jack Smith, it appears, has gotten one of the document case individuals, one of the maintenance workers, one of the people who was the security expert or whatever on the ground at Mar-a-Lago to flip. He has recanted his grand jury testimony. He got a new non-MAGA lawyer, a new lawyer that's not beholden to Donald Trump. And now he is turned. He is now giving information to the government. And I have the actual court filing right here that I'm going to read. First, a few paragraphs from this Daily Beast article entitled, Jack Smith reveals Trump employee flipped after ditching MAGA lawyer. The former maintenance worker was previously represented by Stanley Woodward, who is also representing Trump's alleged co-conspirator and valet, Walt Nada. A former maintenance worker at Mar-a-Lago, now being eyed as a key witness to attempt to conceal evidence from the government, retracted his grand jury testimony after switching lawyers, prosecutors in the special counsel Jack Smith's office said in a Tuesday filing. The unidentified staffer named only as Trump employee number four in the filing, but suspected to be Yusul Tavares, who oversaw the club's security camera system, initially told a grand jury that he hadn't been privy to any attempt to delete security footage. But after dumping his lawyer, the MAGA lawyer, Stanley Woodward, for another attorney offered up by the Federal Defender's Office in Washington, Tavares quickly reversed course. Now, this happens all the time when people think that their lie is not going to be uncovered. And then once they discover that the lie was uncovered, they know they're in big trouble. And then they find out after talking to, to other more professional disconnected lawyers that, hey, your guy's not giving you the best advice. Your guy seems to have a conflict of interest. Your guy seems to actually be defending Donald Trump and doing what's best for him and not what's best for you. This is from the filing. Page four, if you're following along. And again, as always, there will be a link below for you to download or just look online. Chief Judge Bosberg made available independent counsel, the first assistant in the Federal Public Defender's Office for the District of Columbia to provide advice to Trump employee four regarding potential conflicts. On July 5th, 2023, Trump employee four informed Chief Judge Bosberg that he no longer wished to be represented by Mr. Woodward, again, the MAGA lawyer and that going forward, he wished to be represented by the first assistant federal defender. Immediately after receiving new counsel, Trump employee four retracted his prior false testimony and provided information that implicated Nada, de Oliveira, and Donald Trump in efforts to delete security camera footage as set forth in the superseding indictment. The government anticipates calling Trump employee four as a trial witness and expects that he will testify to conduct alleged in the superseding indictment regarding efforts to delete security footage. Trump employee four will very likely face cross-examination about his prior inconsistent statements in his grand jury testimony, which occurred while Mr. Woodward represented him and which he disavowed immediately after obtaining new counsel. This will be proof of Donald Trump's obstruction of justice, of Donald Trump's lying to investigators, of Donald Trump's participation in a conspiracy. It'll be hard for a jury, even a jury that is uh, sympathetic to Donald Trump, to deny some of the facts that are coming out, some of the evidence that is coming out. This isn't hearsay. This is a guy who was in the room who participated in these conversations. This is a big deal. Now, back to the article here. Sources familiar with the matter told ABC News that Tavares' decision to switch lawyers and cooperate with Smith's office came after he received a target letter from Smith in June indicating he knew Tavares had perjured himself during his grand jury testimony and warning of possible criminal charges. Isn't that the rub? 
Doesn't it do it every time when you start facing legal consequences at a federal level that you're facing federal prison time? All of a sudden, you know, covering for Donald Trump isn't quite as attractive. Under the terms of their agreement in exchange for his truthful testimony on the obstruction allegations, Smith will not prosecute Tavares for perjury. One of Trump's co-conspirators, Walt Nada, the former president's so-called Diet Coke valet, is also being represented by Woodward. Again, the MAGA lawyer. The attorney, who boasts a number of connections to MAGA world, has had his legal bills for the case footed by Trump's Save America PAC. So he's getting a little piece of that $40 million racked up bill that is, is coming in that Donald Trump's campaign and PAC is paying for um, that is being funded by hardworking Americans who are sucked into the Trump cult. Earlier this month, when Tavares was being represented by Woodward, prosecutors questioned whether the lawyer was fronting too many defendants and witnesses in the case, raising the specter of a conflict of interest. And here, they explain exactly what we're, they're talking about with that conflict of interest. They said in an August 2 filing that Woodward had represented at least seven people interviewed by prosecutors probing the case. The filing noted that at least two of those clients, including Tavares, could be called as government witnesses in the trial, at which point Woodward would have to cross-examine them as he defends Nada. That's not how it works. If he's representing them and Nada, and he's having to cross-examine his own client, but you see, ethics and conflicts of interest like this don't matter to people in MAGA world, or so it seems. They're, they're, they're wholly comfortable being as, as scoundrel-rific as they can be. Anyway, good news on this front. There are cracks in the dam that are appearing in case after case after case. Now that there's a litany of, of activity and indictments Trump is facing. Four indictments, 91 criminal counts, felony counts against Trump. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me as always daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. Follow me on social media if that is your thing. I am on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, threads, Facebook, at dollamore is where you can find me. I'd love to see you there. And if I bring you value, if I do something for you that you appreciate, please consider supporting what we do right here. Click the join button below, become a channel member for $1.99 a month, two bucks a month. Hit the super thanks button or uh, go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. What do you think? Good day, good day, good news. I'll see you next time. Be genuine, take care of one another.